Hey guys, good morning. I have yet to actually check in with you guys. Today is Wednesday, December 12th, and it's been a little bit of a crazy morning. I do have work. Technically, I am at work. I think I've talked about this in some of my other videos, but I am on the holiday committee at work, so I have helped plan our holiday party for over 50 guests, close to 60 people, and uh, yeah, it's been absolutely insane. So we're at the venue now. I decided to dress up a little festively <laughs> for the party today. Um, I'm gonna introduce you to my boss and some of my coworkers today as well, uh, but the party starts in about 20 minutes or so, and we had a little bit of a mix-up with the venue. They overbooked, <laughs> and so uh, we were supposed to be on the patio, which we still are on the patio, but we actually are sharing our space with another department that's also having their holiday party here on the exact same day and time. So it's been a little chaotic, not gonna lie. It's been a little stressful uh, just because I've been kind of the one in charge of planning this and doing all the coordinating and stuff like that. So the fact that the person I was booking with didn't really follow through on everything that we agreed on was a little frustrating to deal with right when we got here. So anyway, <laughs> to make a long story short, we are still here at the same venue. And Demery, I am so mad at you. Oh, you guys, my coworkers can't let me do my thing anyway so we're over here and uh, I'm gonna of course introduce you to my other co-workers uh, but I pro should probably go in since guests are starting to arrive um, but yeah I'll show you guys uh, more of what we're doing oh also we raised enough money this year on all of our fundraisers of course that I you know helped plan and, and be a part of and everything like that um, but we raised enough money to buy everybody a gift for the raffle so everybody will leave here with a gift today even the guests that are joining us they will also leave with a gift card as well and we still have money left over so that's really great to know that we were doing so much better than I guess what my job did last year because I wasn't here last year so uh, we did quite a bit of work this year to make this party happen and I'm just excited that everybody gets a gift and everybody gets to leave happy happy with their bellies full of food and dessert and all that good stuff so okay let's go to the party Okay guys, I'm back in here in the venue with my coworkers and my boss. I'm gonna introduce you to them. They're really, really sweet and pretty much all of them are single. So <laughs> if you have any friends, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm gonna start over here, Jessica. Jessica is my like cubicle friend. She sits right across from me and I get to bug her all day long. <laughs> and then Demery is right next to her. She sits a uh, cubicle over and on the other side. And then Vicky is right next to her. Vicky is a couple cubicles down for me. And then Suba doesn't wanna be seen. But this is my boss, Jen. She is the best boss ever. <laughs> Seriously, I was in a really toxic place from uh, where I came from, so she saved me. She must have saw the SOS that was above my head, like, help, <laughs> I need rescuing. Anyway, that's my we boss. I love her. I love her. Love her. <laughs> so anyway, that's that for now, and I'll probably show you our food and the games and the gifts later as well. Oh, Jen. Oh, yeah, I think that's all right. Okay guys, good morning, happy Friday, hallelujah. It is finally Friday. This week has been absolutely nuts. I have not wanted to vlog since Wednesday. That party absolutely wore me out. But anyway, I'm about to head to work. Clearly, I was not feeling the makeup today. I was a little too tired and I'm still feeling kind of like a little sick. My throat has been a little raspy and kind of congested and all that stuff. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that my mom and I actually carpooled to work. So today on this morning's commute to work, I decided to edit some vlogmas for so I can show you that uh, but I don't really know what other plans I have planned for today but we did do some more decorating and kind of like tying up some loose ends around the house last night I should have vlogged that but again I was just so exhausted from Wednesday you guys have no clue like that party alone so much happened trying to plan that party last minute stuff happened you name it just absolute chaos so uh, needless to say we're all really really happy that that party is over <laughs> so um, yeah with that said I've got a lot of stuff I have to edit now um, I've got all my Disneyland vlogs I still have to edit and um, yeah I know I've got so many more Disney or not Disney I'm sorry Christmas things that I still have to do my room isn't even decorated yet I know this is absolutely a tragedy it's so tragic oh gosh <laughs> that was sarcasm by the way guys I know some people literally think that like I'm being serious anyway so I still have to get my room decorated I still have to get my office decorated for like a week <laughs> but that is a 
okay, I'll leave it up for a while afterwards. But um, yeah, I know this month is literally flying by and it's like kind of stressing me out. So anyway, I have to go to work and then I'll probably end up doing some more Christmassy things tonight and tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I also have to find a dress for Sunday. Uh, my studio, my acting studio's Christmas party is on Sunday. So um, I still need to find a dress. So yes, lo lovely. <laughs> Actually, it's funny because I missed the invitation for the party. Um, it came through on that Monday that I was dealing with all my phone stuff when I was getting a new phone. So I wasn't like utilizing my phone on Monday. And then at Tuesday, I was trying to do the update all day. It still didn't go. And then Wednesday, it still didn't go. So then I had to do it on Wednesday. And then I just never checked my email because then Thursday we were headed to Disneyland. So like why check my emails? But I completely missed the invite. So um, yeah, now I have to like scramble to get a dress last minute. So anyway, with that said, I have to go to work. Uh, but I just wanted to fill you in, check in, say hi since it's been a little while. And uh, yeah, let's pray for a smooth day. <laughs> Okay, guys. Good morning. I haven't vlogged at all yet today, and I have a Christmas party to go to later. I went and bought a dress, and I did my nails today. <laughs> I went and got them done. Anyway, back home. We're kind of fixing some of the Christmas decorations at the front of our house, and it's starting to rain. <laughs> and Dad thinks that this is hilarious. <laughs> uh, so... We are getting our wreath rewired and the ornament balls fixed. But yeah, he thinks he's a professional out here doing that. Don't do this at home. Yeah, exactly. Just at our home. <laughs> anyway, so that's what we're doing right now. And then uh, I will certainly show you my outfit for tonight. <laughs> okay, guys, I just wanted to check in. Hello. <laughs> I am headed to my acting studio's Christmas party. So excited. I got my dress literally today. I told the universe if I don't find a dress at the first store, I'm just going to wear one from like a couple years ago. No big deal. Anyway, so I found a dress. I went and got my nails done. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys my dress up close. And my earrings are literally my favorite part. They're so cute. Look at, oh, I just love them. They are from Lane Bryant and so is the dress. But I'm going to give you a quick little OOTD. I'm sorry for the darkness. Maybe there'll be like better lighting at the actual venue for the party. Um, but I just wanted to show you my outfit before I leave. So here is a quick little overview of my dress. This is Richard. I've known Hello. Richard for so How many years. Yes, be in it. Come in it. Yes. So this is Selena. I've known Selena since high school. <laughs> and we're at our acting studio Christmas party Hello. and celebrating 10 years. And uh, yeah, just wanted to say hey. Hey. <laughs> 
Okay, guys, so I made it home from my acting studio's Christmas party. I did not vlog much. It was a little weird. We had it at a new location, um, but I don't know. I just didn't feel like busting out my camera and, like, shoving it in a bunch of people's faces. But anyway, we had a great time. I still feel like it was really short. I know I was a little late, but still, it felt really, really short. But that's okay. I will certainly share more footage with you of my actual acting class on Tuesday. I'm going to take you guys to class on that day. Um, but, yeah, it was, an, it was interesting. It was fun. But, uh, yes, yeah, totally different venue. So. It was kind of a different vibe and also they're celebrating 10 years um, of our studio being open so that was also really cool as well I've been there for seven of the 10 years um, like consistently going so anyway yes I know it's kind of a really bad little shadow um, that's coming from the dining light but <laughs> anyway that's besides the point I do want to give you guys a quick review of this dress though so I told you guys earlier I bought it at Lane Bryant it was a hundred dollars but it was 40% off so it made the dress about 60 bucks or so but still it's way too much for like the quality of this dress so really kind of like not impressed with like the sleeves and stuff like that and then like the um chest area is super blousey and like i'm chesty and like i don't know like there's just a lot of space <laughs> like just i don't know it kind of fits really differently and even the back like the back waistline because there's like of course elastic around like the waist it's super low like it doesn't match so i don't know this is just not comfortable uh but i still have a great time anyway <laughs> and i'm still gonna keep the earrings because the earrings are literally everything they're so cute i love these um but yeah this dress is a, a no-go for me it's cute and i love the ruffles and all the sequins and stuff in the color but i do not like the actual um like make of it <laughs> the sewing the quality so anyway <laughs> there is that but I just wanted to kind of check in with you guys it's been a while since I've actually filmed face to face and uh, we're kind of in crunch mode time until Christmas we have less than 10 days and I could honestly use an additional 10 more days because uh, yeah this month is just flying by but we do have some fun things planned for like Friday and this coming weekend even though time is like flying by um, and I'm still going to try and vlog as much as I possibly can this week um, but yeah it's going to be absolutely nuts. So with that said, hello. Sorry, I did not vlog that much today, but also it was a little chaotic too. So I totally understand. So yeah, I feel like there's like stuff I'm forgetting to tell you guys about. Can't really remember. But anyway, I should just let you guys go because I do have work tomorrow morning and I decided to not stay out because I have work tomorrow. A bunch of my friends went out after the party to go hang out, drink, and go karaoke. And as much as I love karaoke and I love a good Whitney Houston song to karaoke to, I had to be an adult and be like, no, I will be absolutely miserable <laughs> if I go to bed extremely late or if I'm out and I'm just exhausted tomorrow, um, I will be really, really, really tired and cranky. So I decided to come home. But with that said, that is that. I will certainly share more like footage of class and stuff going on for the rest of this week. So with that said, hello, good night and uh, happy Sunday. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, good morning, happy Monday. Right now I'm actually at work. I'm on my break, but I'm going to be bringing in my Christmas decorations. I know it's a little late in the season, but I still wanted to decorate. So anyway, these two little trees were white from Dollar Tree and I actually spray painted them. Kind of see on the underside that it's still white, not pink, but that is okay. I brought these to decorate in my office. So the next, this actually should look familiar. Well, actually, I don't even know if I showed this. Actually, that's really weird, my bad. Anyway, it's a white garland. I bought it for a video last year and then ended up not using it. And so I have like this huge garland. I can't remember if I hauled this or not, but I bought it on Amazon. And so I figured it'd be perfect to put in my cubicle. Um, then I have an extension cord because we don't have any of those at work. <laughs> and then I also have candy for my candy jar. They're so cute. Okay. So those are those. Those are those. I hate that saying. Anyway, okay, let's show you more. So then in this bag, I have some white lights for my garland to put on there. Whoopsie. And then I have this super cute tissue box. I was going to film a haul last night after my party, but I just got too tired and I couldn't find my, um, what do you call it, tripod adapter thing for my camera. Anyway, I found this at TJ Maxx. It was only $1.99. It's so cute. Like literally the cutest tissue box ever. So yeah, the next I picked up this stocking. I've actually bought some of these last year, but they're so cute. And I just didn't want anything to happen to the ones that I already had. So I figured I'll buy one specifically for work. And if something happens, then uh, so be it. At least I still have my other ones. But I did find this one at HomeGoods this year. It's $14.99. It's from the brand 34th and Palm. 
fine. But anyway, I'm just so excited for my stocking. It's so cute. And I don't know if you guys can see, but there's like gold threading in it. I'll show a close up of it later, but so cute. Love this. So then to go with that at the thrift store, I actually found this adorable stocking hanger. I was going to spray paint it, but then I just didn't have time. So it's just going to go just as is. Now, honestly, I was just going to get a fresh coat of gold um, just because there is like some wearing on it, but it's still so cute. I love that. I love the big bow and the candy canes. Okay, so then next, I believe I already hauled this little guy. It's such a cute little reindeer. It's kind of like a champagne-y color with those adorable pink ears uh, from Marshalls for only $7.99. And then these are from last year. I hung these on my little pink tree. I had a different one that was green originally that I spray painted it white, then pink. And it was just a little too, like, chunky or, like, what would you call that, like clumps like the branches were just a little too clump for me so that's why I spray painted white ones since they came out with the white ones this year but anyway yeah so these I believe I got at home goods yeah $5.99 from home goods and I'm just going to use these to decorate my two pink little trees okay moving on I have this sign it's so adorable I love the black white and gold and it just says baby it's cold outside with gold snowflakes white snowflakes and the really fun kind of black cursive lettering I think I got that at home goods I'm like so bad at leaving on price tags. I mean, you can never see them when they're displayed, but you know, oh, this is a gift for Nazi. <laughs> Look how cute this is. It says Mr. and Mrs. because they just got married this year. Oh, love that. 2018. So the next, I just have this really cute, adorable little white glittery fir tree. I got this at Target last year on clearance for like hecka cheap, like so cheap. And then this little bow actually goes on one of my trees. I don't know if I'll put it on there because I only have one and I have two trees, so we'll see. <laughs> and then lastly, I have this adorable nutcracker. I got at Target this year. He is so cute. I love him. Just like, look at how cute he is. Uh, I don't like that it says 2018, so I'll probably put like a little pink bow or something over it. I don't know why I just don't care for like the year on like decorations that are not significant. Like the ornament is great because it says established 2018, but like why do I need 18 on a nutcracker year after year? I don't know. Anyway, just my logic. <laughs> so I'm going to take this all in to my office and go decorate it. And I will certainly show you the after. Okay, guys. So I am on my lunch. I decided not to do makeup today. I was just a little tired from last night. But I'm headed to lunch to go have lunch with Nazi. I'm so excited. I haven't seen her in so long, like way too long. We usually try and do lunch like once a week. Um, but lately with like the holidays and everything, it's been absolutely nuts. So anyway, today I'm going to go have lunch with Nazi. So excited to see her. I have a little present for her. It's not really a present. It's more like a house warming happy like the first year of being married Christmas must have does that make sense you could probably guess what it is but anyway super excited to give that to her I did wrap it even though it's not a part of her Christmas gift but uh, she does need it before Christmas so there's that but uh, yeah again headed to lunch we're gonna go to Panera and then I'll probably vlog a little bit with her um, and uh, yeah talk for a good 40 minutes because it takes me about 10 to get there and then of course 10 to get back and I have an hour lunch so that gives me about 40 minutes to chat and eat so anyway with that said that's what's going on this guy's like trying to creep around me there's not much space anyway <laughs> that's what i'm going to be doing today on my lunch and uh yeah happy monday i am absolutely exhausted i got up i took a shower and i said eh no makeup today not doing it but um my lips are kind of chapped kind of tired and um yeah <laughs> I know I have a bunch of stuff to do this week and things I need to get done, of course, before Christmas and before the weekend. So with that said, that is that. I will check in with you guys once I actually get to lunch with Nazi, and then, uh, of course, stuff tonight. I know I have a bunch of footage I still need to edit. It's just, I don't know, it's all piling up and time is flying by. So anyway, oh yeah, also, by the way, I don't even know if you guys can see outside. It's super sunny and like a beautiful day. Literally last night it was like pouring, like actual storm pouring, like raining yeah it was nuts anyway okay that's that gotta go have to go have lunch bye i don't want to rip it open it was oh my god so please nice rip it <laughs> i feel like a kid on christmas right morning. <laughs> oh my god we were supposed to get our first christmas oh so you don't already have one no, oh i'm so excited I'm so so my mom found it technically. No, stop, stop. Oh my God, oh my God. Stop. I'm gonna cry. I'm like shaking. Oh so no. Yeah, so my mom saw it and she's like, Nazi needs this. And I was like, I've been looking for one. And then, How cute is you guys, she's like legitimately crying. Like her eyes are rolling up. <laughs> Nazi doesn't cry usually. I don't cry, I'm very strong. <laughs> she she's a strong soldier. Stop it. She was my strength when we went through all of our Aww, chaos. <laughs> Yes, you are very welcome. I know. Nazi and I have been through it, man. Not with each other, just 
no, work. <laughs> but she was my backbone, and trust me, I was the one that cried, not her. Uh, yeah, I don't cry, so this is a big deal. Exactly. Like, literally never cry. <laughs> so funny. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay. Wait to this up. I know, your first married Christmas yeah. together. <laughs> Okay, hi guys, good morning. Today is Tuesday. I have class tonight, I have work today. So I go to work all day and then straight from work I go to my acting class, which I will film some stuff tonight, I promise. And also I have a gift for my friend Katie, which actually I have in my car right now. I still need to wrap it, so I'll have to wrap it in the car or something. But look at how cute it is. It's a bandeau keychain, which by the way, I love bandeau. You guys should know this by now. Um, but look at how cute this is. I still have to take the price tag off, but it's a little hot sauce keychain and she actually dressed up as Sriracha for Halloween a couple years ago. So that's kind of why I got it for her. I call her my little sriracha. So I just thought it was just something super cute I thought she needed to have. But anyway, I have to go to work now. I'll probably still show you my Christmas decor too as well. Um, there's like one change I want to make, but that's about it. But anyway, good morning. Hi, happy Tuesday. I have my makeup done today and uh, it's going to be a jam-packed day. <laughs> Okay guys, I am at my acting studio. I didn't get to record any of the scenes tonight, but I told you guys earlier, I have a little gift for Katie. So I'm gonna make her be on camera. I'm gonna make her be in Vlogmas. I'm gonna show it to you. And you guys should remember Katie. She was in like the last two Vlogmases at the Christmas party. She wasn't there this past weekend, but Katie's here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around and make her open this. <laughs> it's small, it's cute, it's little, but it's cute. It's such a cute bow, I don't wanna mess it up. <laughs> I'm forcing her to be in my Vlogmas video. <laughs> Like if you're gonna open it, you have to open it on camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> People that try to like open it like all nice, like. Oh yeah, just it. tear into it. Like just you're gonna throw it away. Exactly. <laughs> I was like, my sriracha needs this. I know. I showed him earlier. <laughs> I love it. Oh my, my god, I love it. It's so So, cute. Bando is like one of my favorite brands. <gasps> I love Bando's. So, they sent me, no, <laughs> not Bando tops. No, no, I oh, know. Oh, you do? Yes. You know about them? Yeah. Okay, so they sent me a PR oh, box recently, and it was like all these like little girly floral oh, things, and then when I saw this, I was like, okay, first and foremost, the brand, everything. <laughs> Second off, it's hot sauce, and third, this is, needs to go Adorable. on Katie's keys. It's like actually really cute I know. too. I'm I know, I know. It's extra spicy. I was it like, is extra, because I'm like, she is extra spicy. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Yay! You, You're so welcome. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Okay guys, good morning. I look a little scraggly. <laughs> but basically, it is like really, really early Friday morning. This is my last morning um, that I go to work before Christmas. So I wanted to film uh, parts of my like morning routine or whatever, um, and Fridays are a little different. But anyway, we have a full packed day. I've got so much stuff going on today. Even at work, I've got stuff going on. So, um, and then after work, of course. <laughs> but I just wanted to record a little bit of this morning for you. Um, and so basically I just got out of the shower. I'm going to start my makeup. And then of course I finish my makeup, um, in the car on the way to work, um, because my mom and I carpool. Um, and then I will of course show you the rest of the stuff I do today, but I just wanted to start off. So yeah, just took a shower. I'm going to start my makeup. <laughs> Okay guys, good morning. So I already started my makeup at home. My foundation's done, concealer, bronzer, blush, highlighter. My eyebrows are not done. I have really full eyebrows, like naturally, but they're not done, I have to fix them. Um, and then I do my eyeshadow in the car, and then of course my lipstick as well, because as you can see, 
it looks like I have no lips <laughs> but uh, right now again we are on our way to work it rained last night so let's pray for no more rain today it's also foggy this morning but tonight we're going to look at the Christmas lights in the Fab 40s our little wagon carriage ride through the Fab 40s to go look at Christmas lights so uh, let's pray that this rain stops so we can still go um, but yeah so I'm gonna show you the rest of my I guess morning routine I've already started it I'm gonna do the rest here on the drive to work and then I'm gonna go to work and I've got a lot of stuff to do at work today and then of course tonight as well so okay anyway I'll stop talking your ear off let me finish my makeup eyeshadows done, lipsticks on, uh, eyebrows, probably a little too bold for the day, but that is okay. Um, anyway, I have to go to work today. I have a potluck today. I have a breakfast today I have to go to. Uh, that's work related. Thank you very much. And then um, I have to actually get some work done because then I'm going to be off of work on Monday and Wednesday, which is Christmas Eve and the day after Christmas. I took both days off. So anyway, I've got a lot of stuff to do today, but makeup is done. I'm at work and uh, yeah, it's time to go in now. <laughs> okay guys, so it's about two o'clock on Friday and I wasn't really planning on being off at two o'clock, um, but basically, um, of course I'm clearly not at work, <laughs> but I don't know if I talked about this earlier or not. I know I didn't vlog at all yesterday, which I do have like a little update for yesterday's stuff to show you when we get home. Um, but basically our like whole department's like system um, is like down. Like there was some kind of an attack on our like system and stuff. So nobody can do anything and it started yesterday at lunchtime and so we thought okay maybe by like morning it'll be fixed well I'm pretty sure that they were working like around the clock to like get it fixed but we got in today there was nothing we could do which was fine I still had a breakfast thing I was going to today with like my up higher up and then um we had a um goodbye potluck for my friend Pia which um she actually made if you guys follow me on Instagram she made um the birthday treats that were at my desk when I got to work on my birthday <laughs> and then she also made all of the really fun treats that I had at my mom's surprise 50th, 50th birthday, which I haven't actually posted any pictures. There was just like Insta story stuff going around. Oh, and also Mel BZ was at my mom's party. So yes, it was on YouTube. It was in her vlog. Maybe I'll link it down below if I can go back and find it. But uh, so she did vlog the party. So anyway, um, yeah, so she made the really, really cute treats that were out for that. Um, and she's leaving. She's been with our like department or whatever for like 10 and a half years. And she just got a higher paying job. So um, I'm going to miss her. But this is definitely a well-deserved promotion for her. She is very, very smart and she deserves this trust me <laughs> um but it's it was really hard i i actually cried when i was saying goodbye to her so anyway <laughs> that's what our little goodbye potluck was for and so since i really couldn't do anything else i thought okay i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna get ready and get my stuff together for tonight and i don't know if i actually talked about what we're doing tonight but we are going to look at christmas lights tonight in the fab 40s in east sacramento they're really really nice homes and the lights are always super spectacular if you guys saw ladybird that's where it was filmed out there it was in like east Sac and stuff um and in the past like two or three years we've done carriage horse carriage or wagon rides to go look at the christmas lights out there so we're doing that again tonight <laughs> So I'm super excited. All my friends are going to be there, family, all that good stuff. So that's what we have planned tonight. So I'm going to go home, get ready, get my stuff together, and then we're going to have a blast. <laughs> okay, guys. Hi. Good evening. I have yet to actually check in. We went home. I did a little bit, and I also took a nap. But right now we are at the little meeting spot to go ride the horse wagon or little horse carriage to go look at Christmas lights. So super excited. Um, pretty much almost all of us are here early except my cousin and her parents. And then, of course, Nazi and John, they'll be here soon. So anyway, super excited to go. And uh, yeah, I just saw all the horses and the carriage ride before ours. So um, it's making me all excited to go. But anyway, uh, I will definitely vlog once we are out and about. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in. Hi, we're here and we are so excited to go look at some Christmas lights. <laughs>
just got off of the horse and carriage ride. It was so much fun um, and way too short this year. It was a lot shorter than normal. But anyway, these are my two. <laughs> they are a mess. Do you want to be in it? <laughs> Look how cute we are with all of our headgear. I didn't even wear these for the ride because I wanted to be able to hear. Oh, oh, oh. Are we cute? We are cute. John's here. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, super bummed it's already over, but we had a blast. So that's probably all I will vlog for the rest of the night, but um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay guys, so like I said, we are done with the horse carriage ride. I thought I was going to sign off for the evening, but actually we're gonna go check out Old Sacramento. It's where um, my holiday Christmas party was for work um, when we went to Rio City Cafe. So that's in Old Town Sacramento. But when I was there, it looked so cute and festive in the daytime. I really, really wanted to see it at night. So since we're up here in Sacramento at nighttime, I figured why not stop, drive around, just kind of take a little look. We don't have to get out or stop or anything, but just to kind of see all the stuff lit up and all that good stuff, all the Christmassy things. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go look around and uh, I will certainly vlog it. <laughs> Okay guys, so we just got back to our house and Molina brought my Christmas present and I about fell to the floor when I <laughs> saw it sitting under the tree. What? What? And it's even cuter out of the bag. Oh my gosh, look it. She is insane. This is like my first Tiffany's gift. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Molina's sitting on the couch, but um, yeah, I'm gonna open my gift now. I am like shaking, quaking. <laughs> I'm gonna open up my present, but I wanted to show you how beautiful the box is. Oh my god, I can't. I literally can't. I'm about to cry. <laughs> okay guys, so the gift that Melina got me is this beautiful Tiffany's ornament. It says, please return to Tiffany and Company, New York on it. It is so gorgeous. It's like a Tiffany blue glass. It's kind of hard to see. Well, I guess you can kind of see when it spins, but yeah, the glass is like a Tiffany blue crystal color. It is so, so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I am so obsessed with this. I'm like, I don't want to drop this, so I'm going to set this down. But anyway, I'm so excited. Thank you, Melina. I love you. Merry Christmas. <laughs> She's literally <Happy> just holidays. <laughs> She's literally sitting on the couch mocking me. <laughs> okay, anyway, bye. Good night. Happy Saturday. I have not vlogged at all yet today. We've been out kind of doing a little bit of shopping and it's a little bit of work to try and shop and also vlog at the same time. So you guys know I'll definitely fill you guys in on anything that is like super important. And this is one of those things um, that I want to share with you guys. So that's why I really haven't been vlogging and also it's probably kind of boring anyway. So anyway, with that said, I wanted to share this with you because I don't think I've talked about this yet in any of my Vlogmas stuff, but we have this other tree here um, kind of in like our dining room and what is this room? Is this the living, room. living room? Okay. See, I always feel like the living room is the room that you're constantly in. It's the one that has the TV, but no, <laughs> apparently not. That's the family room. So we're in the living room right now. We did just add this tree this year. This is a tree from Walmart. It is so pretty and so nice. We got two of these. I don't know if I've talked about this yet. So if I have, I do apologize. 
Anyway, I wanted to show you this. We picked up this new set of ornaments from Home Goods today. It is shiny bright. It is so cute. It's like nice, uh, like traditional colors, like red, green, and white. And then of course the silver. So we already have some ornaments on this tree, um, but then we're just going to be adding a few more in this set. And you might've already noticed that this one right here is broken. So they did give us a discount. This set is regularly $30, but I think we got it for like 26 or so with the discount. So. Anyway, yeah, it's just really, really neat. I love this. I wanted to show you guys this really quickly. It's kind of interesting. This looks like a regular set of ornaments, but they call this a cl glass Christmas cluster tree. So basically they do provide you with like this long little pole and stand thing. And then you wrap the ornaments around it and it kind of stacks up to look like a tree. So kind of interesting. And then of course there also is a topper, but we're just going to be using it as uh, ornaments today. <laughs> so maybe in the future when we get more ornaments for this tree, this stuff will all be packed away and, uh, or not packed away, but in the future we could use this for its actual purpose. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you a little bit about this tree so far. This is kind of just what it looks like. We have this really pretty Santa ornament. We got those at Hobby Lobby. This set of kind of dark maroon uh, ornament balls is actually from the thrift store. It was a big, big set of them. These are some more shiny brights. Those down here, these little ones, those are from Bradford and Company. Um, and then those little bows, there are three of them on the tree. They're actually antiques and they're like made of resin. They're like to hang on your wall, but we thought they'd make really, really cute uh, Christmas ornaments. And then we have about four of those kind of vintage replica ornaments. Those are also from Hobby Lobby. And my mom has two little tiny angels that are really small that are up at the top. So I think that's pretty much it that's already on this tree, but we're gonna go ahead and add this set. Um, and then of course I'll show you the after as well. But I just wanted to show you this really, really cool set of ornaments that we found home goods okay guys so it's a little dark out here so i will make this quick but we really wanted a fresh tree on our porch this year i know it's only a couple days until christmas but that is okay um we do have this metal base in here and i really just wanted to put the tree in there in a stand but we can't find our smaller um like real tree stands so we're gonna use this one that we have in the garage <laughs> it sits on top but i still think it'll be kind of cute um but yeah so we picked up a fresh tree this evening from walmart it was only 15 dollars, and we have a bunch of decorations and stuff from hobby lobby that we got on clearance so i will definitely show you guys the decorated version but yeah unfortunately I get really sick with real trees in the house so that's why we have artificial trees uh, but we really wanted a fresh one on the porch just because it's so cute um, and then of course we have a fresh uh, wreath on our door as well but anyway I just wanted to show this to you guys right now we've had this metal basin for many many years and this is like a really really old rusty uh, base that we have sitting on top of it for now this doesn't always go here see this comes off but yeah so Anyway, we're going to do that on our porch, and then I will certainly show you guys the after. Hey guys, good morning. Today is Sunday the 23rd and I just wanted to show you the items that we picked up at Hobby Lobby yesterday on like 66% clearance. But we picked up one of these, well they're all shutterproof by the way, but we picked up one of these little Santa ornaments. Well he's not very little actually. <laughs> he is quite large but he's so cute. He looks like a fun little vintage Santa with glitter all over him. So we picked up just one for the tree. We picked up two of this set which I was really excited to find too. The uh, reflection is not all that nice on these packages. <laughs> right now but again we picked up two sets of this we love this kind of like dark green the other greens were just a little too lime or a little too grass emerald green but we picked up this really fun dark green and then we picked up this set and there are only three in here because the fourth one is on the tree but it does come with four and there are these gorgeous kind of tannish brown glittery balls with pine and cranberries and pine cones but and of course like the really fun kind of jute twine string on the top they're really really pretty and then we picked up two sets of these beautiful cranberry crystallized balls they have a glitter on them they're so pretty in person again I'll show you guys what they look like out of the packages because I know that this reflection is not all that nice but they are really really pretty and then we picked up one set of the kind of brownish uh, jingle bells and we're just gonna hang those singularly on the tree so yeah so again we picked up two of this two of this one of this 
one of this and one of this and like i said everything was 66 percent off so we got all of these for an amazing deal so the original prices on all of these these were both 7.99 i don't know why the focus looks so funny there we go this one was originally 14.99 same thing for this one 14.99 and again we got one of this two of this and then this was originally 11.99 again everything was like 66 percent off and then i believe this set was yeah 6.99 and then of course on sale so we got all of this stuff for such such a great deal like two dollars five dollars dollars things like that it was really really insane so let me show you what they look like out of the packages now so we haven't put the lights yet on the tree because it's still not like relaxed like the branches are still kind of all pent up and kind of going upward because it was tied with string it really wasn't let to like let the branches relax a little bit so we're gonna put the lights on after we put the ornaments on in hopes that the ornaments will kind of weigh the branches down a little bit and get the tree to open up so that's kind of the plan right now but we do just have it kind of sitting on this really fun metal basin which i love i think it's so cute um, but yeah, let me show you what the ornaments look like up close now. So here is the cranberry ball close up. It is just so pretty. I don't know why my focus is a little wonky right now. But yeah, look at how gorgeous that is. Oh, it's just so, so beautiful. Here is just one of the plain green ones. Here is one of the glittery green ones. So pretty. Again, we only have part of them on the tree right now because the rest are in the packages they just showed you. Here is one of the beautiful little brown balls with the cranberries and pine and pine cones. It's just so, so pretty. So it does kind of look like with them on, it does look like it is relaxing the branches a bit, but yes, really, really, really pretty. So I love like the sugaring and the glitter, all that stuff. Again, I don't know why this focus is so weird right now. Ugh. This is frustrating. Anyway, again, it's still a very gorgeous ornament and uh, we got great, great deals on all of them. Okay guys, sorry for the lack of footage today. It was a little hectic, I'm not gonna lie. Um, just doing kind of some last minute shopping. I really haven't had a lot of time to shop in general. And so this was kind of really one of my only days to do that. So um, aside from that though, I did pick up a gift for my mom prior to, of course, today. I already had her gifts purchased. So that was really the only thing that I had already checked off. So um, last night we picked up my dad's gift and then I picked up my mom's gift, of course, in Disneyland. I picked up a part of a gift for Kaylin yesterday and I already had one or two things or so for her. Um, and then today was kind of just other little things here and there for my sister, grandparents, all that stuff. And I know that my mom still wants to check a couple things tomorrow morning. Um, but anyway, aside from the point, I wanted to show you guys what I picked up for my parents this year. Um, one of the items I actually, well, of course, all of these items I picked up in Disneyland and I really couldn't tell you about it then because of course the vlog footage, well... I had assumed that the vlog footage would have been out before Christmas of our trip to Disneyland, so I didn't talk about what I got her there. Um, but I'm going to show you guys now. Anyway, you guys have been staring at a bag for like a minute. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you guys what's in here, but I wanted to show you guys the wrap too. Um, of course, these are all from Home Goods, except this green one is from Hobby Lobby. And then, anyway, <laughs> those are just scissors. But this pattern we found last year for the first time, and we actually picked up a bunch of tubes of this on clearance, and then they came back with it this year, so I was really excited. And of course, this plaid is like a yearly favorite we love so much, and then the green is also really, really fun. So, okay, let me show you what's in this bag, though, too. So this first item is a new phone case. I need to fix the packaging because we did take it out to see if it fit my sister's phone, since they both have the same phone. They have eight pluses. Um, yeah, so I, anyway, when I was getting my new phone case, cause I picked up the, well, actually I got a new phone right before our trip. So did my mom, so did my dad, but I got the XR. And so I was having a really, really hard time finding a phone case for an iPhone XR. So 10 R whatever that is. Um, but anyway, I found this case and I fell in love with it. And I'm so glad that my mom got an eight plus because I was able to pick this up for her. I just thought this was so neat. Green's her favorite color. And of course she loves Disneyland. So I thought she really, really needed to have this case. It's so beautiful. It's like an e-ticket from Disneyland. And then, of course, the opening year of Disneyland. And then there's pictures of Walt inside the 1955, which I just thought was really, really neat. So, anyway, this is one gift that we got for her. And then inside of here, it's kind of hard to see, but inside of here is a box. I'm not going to take it out, but inside is her own Lumiere. So the Lumiere and Cogsworth that are in our scrapbook room are actually both mine. Um, and so Kaylin picked this up. I picked up the phone case and then I also picked up a big gift from the both of us technically, but it was really pretty much my idea. Um, we picked up the big vintage Disneyland sign. We played it off as if it was mine and I was treating myself and I put it on my Christmas wish list so she wouldn't think anything of it. Like I'm just buying a gift for myself, but that is actually for her. So I cannot really wrap that until tomorrow night because 
um, she'll notice that it's kind of missing from downstairs just because it is quite large. So the plan was to have it already hanging before Christmas. That didn't really get to happen, which is actually honestly okay. It didn't really matter. Um, but I'm going to wrap that tomorrow night when she least expect it, when she probably goes to bed so she doesn't see me carrying it up the stairs <laughs> since it is quite a large box. So anyway, those are kind of the three big gifts. We do have another gift for my mom. I don't really remember where it is, so maybe when I find it, I'll show it to you guys. But um, yeah, we did kind of three big gifts. This, I don't even remember how much this was. This was 35 The Lumiere, I believe, was, oof, I think it was like 50 or 60 and then the big sign was 150 so now let me show you what we picked up for my dad though too i just wanted to share with you what we picked up my dad for christmas this year he needed a new drill and so we did our best we could at picking out a drill for him it is very confusing i don't know much about drills but we found this one we thought it was pretty cool um and he doesn't really need like an extra heavy duty one just like things around the house furniture stuff you know all that good stuff so anyway we bought him a drill we also bought him this set of like drill bits and screws and other dude stuff <laughs> um, but there are 90 pieces in this set they call it the drilling and driving set and there were smaller ones that were cheaper but this one had more pieces for like ten dollars more than what the other two kits put together would have been and i think one set was like 16 pieces and one was like 20 so this is 90 pieces i don't know it was something like that it was like for ten dollars more you got like I don't even know <laughs> a bunch more <laughs> anyway yeah so we picked him up that and then he also does a lot of driving so I thought he might like this I don't know how well the quality is going to be but it's um one of those like dash camera things so he does a lot of driving so we thought that'd be kind of cool and then we also got him um his fishing license again this year we got it for him last year he didn't get to do all that much this year um because this year was kind of you know wonky you guys know that um so yeah maybe he'll get to go out and this year or this coming year a little bit more so than uh this past year and also he needs to take my cousins out and go fishing so uh yeah he needs to get out out of the house a little bit more um yeah from working to stuff around the house you name it there's always something going on so uh we did pick him up his fishing license as well so that's what we got my dad for Christmas this year. I hope he likes it. Um, I know my mom's going to love her gifts. Absolutely no questions asked. But um, I just hope that this is all the right stuff. So fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's that. I'm going to go wrap it now. Okay, guys, Merry Christmas Eve. Right now we are headed to my cousin's house to go have dinner with my dad's side of the family. And today's been a little, um, I don't even know how you would say it, kind of not really chaotic and not really hectic, but just busy, I guess. Um, we had to make a couple stops and pick up a couple more gift type items. And then, of course, some more baking stuff. And then my grandparents, we were talking to them and we we're like, what are we doing for Christmas dinner? My grandma's like, do you want to pick up a frozen lasagna? No, Mima, we don't want to pick up a frozen lasagna. What the heck? And I was like, well, that's lazy. And she's like, well, I am feeling lazy. So anyway, my mom went to the store, picked up a bunch of stuff for Christmas dinner because apparently it slipped from our minds in talking about it or planning it. So anyway, <laughs> we've had some things to do this morning to get ready for Christmas and Christmas dinner tomorrow night. Um, but right now we are on the road to go to my cousin's house. So sorry I didn't vlog much, but again, I feel like trying to vlog errands and like laugh Last minute things is just adding insult to injury it's already crazy enough let's not try and whip the camera out <laughs> and film that whole process <laughs> i know it'd probably be really fun to see what you would do in that kind of an instance whoa taxpayers let's get these roads fixed <laughs> anyway uh yeah so um it's just a little bit too much to vlog and do last minute things since apparently that's how my last uh, couple christmases have been just chaotic so Anyway, I think the last clip I filmed was last night I wrapped a couple gifts. I think I have a couple more to wrap tonight and then, uh, yeah, I hope I'm not up until super late like last year, but somehow it always works out that we are. So with that said, Merry Christmas Eve. I will probably vlog some more stuff tonight, maybe even at dinner. Oh, and I really want to go look at Christmas lights tonight. So I might... Um, beg everybody to go i know my mom and sister are always down but dad's always a little tired anyway so i really 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 want to go look at some christmas lights tonight maybe have some peppermint hot cocoa and uh enjoy the night and then go home and wrap gifts and be chaotic again so with that said again merry christmas and uh, i'll see you guys in a bit okay so i am at christmas eve dinner with my absolutely nuts cousins <laughs> uh yeah they're well they're not all here but the majority of them are here so how many of us were there tonight does anybody know like anybody taking it oh my aunt is also sorry there's a bunch and it's still not everybody so we've got little ones 
We've got old ones. We've got. <laughs> hey. <laughs> This has been absolutely insane. We haven't had a family Christmas Eve like this in forever, so it's been a little nuts, but we are having a bunch of fun. There's Austin. I got him. <laughs> Austin and Austin. <laughs>。done with dinner at my cousin's house and with my dad's side of the family. Right now it's about eight o'clock or so, and we really want to go out and look at some Christmas lights before we go back home and kind of wrap up things for Christmas morning. So I think we're gonna stop and get some drinks, maybe from Starbucks or Dutch Brothers, maybe some peppermint hot cocoa, and go just kind of drive around town. Nothing really too far, um, but just kind of see what is out there. And I offered to drive because my dad's a little tired, <laughs> so I'm gonna be driving this around. And uh, we've got the whole family here today. So mom, dad, Kaylin. Mom, dad, Kaylin, I guess, and me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I feel like we're missing one. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. And then, of course, I will vlog when I get home as well. So we made it home from looking at Christmas lights and I just wanted to share with you some of my new rolls of wrap that I picked up this year. This one we actually, actually these two we have had for a couple years now. This one we just found last year and then this one we've had for a few, few years now, excuse me. Um, but this one came back out this year and so did this one. So we definitely had to pick up more of those because this one is just too cute with kind of like that matte gold polka dot and that sweet, sweet Santa face. Anyway, I just posted a picture of my rolls of wrap, but I just wanted to share them with you. Um, I don't think, I think I maybe picked up maybe one or two more other ones, but they weren't really classic or anything like that. Um, and I think only one was super Christmassy anyway. Anyway, <laughs> I can show you guys those later, but I just wanted to share these with you. Um, of course, I have found all of these from like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all of those three stores. So specifically, I could go roll by roll, um, and maybe I will, but I just wanted to share them with you. Anyway, this one's super cute over here. It's red with Santa and presents, and I got this one from TJ Maxx for $2.99, and it's from the brand Martha Stewart really really cute and then this one I got from home goods for $2.99 this is from Slay Hill Trading Company so so sweet and I just love these vintage Christmas prints sorry if you hear that noise they're like rubbing up against my curtains anyway I just love these vintage classic prints they're just really really fun and then this one has a lot going on this one's really neat but let's see where I got this one. Oh yeah, I also got this one at Home Goods for $2.99, also from Slay Hill Trading Company. And then this one, if you look closely, the reindeer are glittery unicorns, gold glitter unicorns. I just love this one. And I love like the fun little vintage kind of stars and asterisks that were pretty big in like the 50s and stuff like that. But I love this one. And I got this one from TJ Maxx for, what does it say, $3.99. And this is from Lady Jane Limited. Not surprised, honestly. Love her stuff. Also from Slay Hill Trading Company for the plaid. TJ Maxx $2.99 and then this wrap is really really long this one is from Nicole Miller home and this one is from TJ Maxx for $3.99 so again I love these so so much 
Um, and yeah, I really will be looking for more of these on clearance after Christmas because I love them. And again, you can never have too much Christmas wrap. So, which, because <laughs> speaking of, you can never have too much wrap. I just wrapped my mom's, uh, last Christmas gift. Um, I'll probably just insert a picture, but that actually used up quite a bit of wrapping paper. I was like, wow, I kind of feel weird using this much in one gift. But anyway, yeah, it was, it's still really, really cute. But again, love, love, love fun wrapping paper and even these old kind of classic vintage prints. So Anyway, with that said, I have a couple gifts I'm going to wrap for my grandparents tonight. Usually we do that in the morning, but I think I'm going to do it tonight. So uh, anyway, yeah, these are just my wrapping papers. I just wanted to share them with you and um, we'll see what else I film for the rest of the night. So it looks like Santa made an early delivery until he can come back later and drop off the rest of our presents. But um, yeah, I'm super excited. I wonder what he got us this early, especially on Christmas Eve. So Anyway, I think we should open up these packages because if you didn't want us to open them early, then why are they already here? One of the traditions that Kim and I still do that we have literally done since we were kids is we would read Twas the Night Before Christmas on Christmas Eve night. Of course, it's technically Christmas morning at this point because it's about 2 a.m., which honestly is like four hours earlier than last year. So like, I'm <laughs> super proud of us. <laughs> Kaylin's sitting right here with me. We're about to read this. I know it doesn't matter how late or how early in the morning it is on Christmas morning. We will still read this before we go to bed. So... Anyway, super excited. Of course, all of our wrapping is done. So now it is just time to read Twas the Night Before Christmas. And of course, Santa dropped off pajamas. That's what was in those packages. And uh, yeah, we're all snug and cozy and uh, ready for Santa to bring the rest of our gifts. So we're going to start this. I'll probably read a little bit on camera, um, but I don't want to bore you guys with the whole story. It's actually kind of funny because in this book, it says that my mom and papa gave this to me in 2001. So that was 17 years ago. So this tradition of reading this story together on Christmas Eve night has been going on since I got this book. Ever since I got this book, I think. And honestly, I might have done it with one of my mom's Twas the Night Before Christmas books. But I know for sure that with this book, I have read it every Christmas Eve since I received it. So I love that it says 2001. So yes, I love that. So cute. Was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. Which, honestly, this is about to be us in just, like, a few seconds. <laughs> Which, also, by the way, crazy. It's been literally raining all day, so it's, like, stormy outside. It's, like, perfect weather for Christmas. If I can't have a white Christmas, I might as well have, I guess, a wet one. <laughs> <laughs> a wet and rainy one. Anyway. So, yes. Love that. We're going to keep reading this, though, and I'll, I'll end this clip right here. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Good morning. Merry Christmas. Santa certainly stopped by our house this year. So we've got some presents to open and some treats to find in the tree, maybe from Santa Mouse. Um, but yeah, we are going to start opening our presents. But I just wanted to say good morning, show you how pretty everything looks with all of our fun vintage wrapping paper or vintage inspired wrapping paper. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we, we uh, have some work to do. So with that said, good morning, Merry Christmas, and I will certainly share some of these little wrapped presents with you guys in the vlog as well.
stocking time i'm so excited i know it's actually kind of hard to see my stocking compared to the blanket but my mom made this stocking for me when i was a child we do still use them they are just a part of our christmas decorations now i don't think we could ever get rid of these so anyway i love them i'm so excited to open them up it's kind of spilling out and onto the blanket but hey that's okay the more the merrier but anyway stocking time right now and then presents What? <laughs> oh my god, I love it! <laughs> She's crying! <laughs> they got me a phone case that says 1955. Yeah. Wow, thank you! You're welcome. <laughs> you're, gonna, uh, you're making me cry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Do you love it? I do. Fishing license? Uh-huh. <laughs> Me go Billy use it this year? Maybe. Oh. Are you that's serious? all that's in there. You don't have to display you it. You don't have to display side. it anymore. It changes color in the sun, so it's like that. You can just keep it in your wallet. Oh, I can see, like, watermarks through the back. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cry. They wanted to do it again, even though you didn't get to use last year's. That's really sweet. Man. No excuses. You have to take David and Jason out. Yeah. Wow, what a gift. Thank you very you much. Welcome. Okay, you girls, that was very nice, you <laughs> girls, to do that. You bought me one last year and I never even got a chance to go. So in the Sephora bag, uh, my parents bought both Kel and I the Pretty Rich Too Faced palette. It is so beautiful on the inside. These shades are just gorgeous. And of course, like the actual palette itself is really, really pretty. It looks like a juicy couture box. But anyway, yeah, I'm so excited. This was on my wish list. So it was like a late addition to the wish list. So super excited about that. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. Dad from the girls. Got my own drill. You got your own drill? Got my own drill. <laughs> are you oh surprised? God. Thank you, Have girls. You had one Tools are own? always great. Well, I've always bought just used ones thank you girls you're Very welcome much. are you excited i am, I am. Mom from oh i just love that paper so uh, much <laughs> box. so mysterious <laughs> oh we might need some scissors uh-uh <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A boomy air for my my scrapbook room. Your oh own. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kaylin. <laughs> Look at So that. now I can take mine back. <laughs> you can have yours back. You can't have my new one. But you can right, have yours. right. Oh my gosh. You love it? I love it. <laughs> Oh, that is so exciting. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We are now going to open up our Santa presents. As you can see, Santa put him in his Santa wrapping paper. But, yeah, super excited. So here is mine, and here is Kaylin's. So let's get busy. <laughs> anyway, so excited to open our Santa gifts. Um, we've already done quite a few gifts, but I thought, you know what, this is a good time to do our Santa presents. <laughs> okay, I'm opening a gift from Kaylin. Damn. What? Kaylin? Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> this was on my list. It's the YSL book. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been wanting this book for like a couple years now, I think. It's been on my list. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Well, thank you You're welcome. so much. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay! <laughs> so Holly has joined us this morning, and I think she's here to remind us that she it herself is a gift. <laughs> yeah. She's like laying her head on that present and like closing her eyes. What a weirdo.
What's up, Holly Gear? <laughs> Holly. Like purring. Holly. <laughs> oh, like, okay, no. really close. <laughs> so funny. Holly, what are you doing? Is this euphoric really, for you? Really fast. No. Come on, gonna close your eyes. There you go. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Love Lauren. I hope to God you just used your box. <laughs> I didn't check out there, but I think you used your box. So right girl, rip it. <laughs> You better. Oh my god, you did not. You guys spoil me. <laughs> that was for you this whole time. <laughs> Everyone knew it was for you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is the one that we've been... Looking yes. at Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm literally crying. I can't see my camera. Oh my god. Literally everybody has been in on this. <laughs> and uh yeah. So every time somebody says when I talk about it, I'm like, yeah, it's for me. And I get like I like strongly <laughs> wink at them, like, girl, it's not. Oh my god. So, <laughs> you wanna show us? Yes. I <laughs> so I bought this in Disneyland, guys, and I really couldn't say much on the vlog because I didn't know if the vlog was going to go up before Christmas. Clearly it hasn't, but I did show a little clip of this in the store when I went to go pick it up, but I talked about picking this up for myself, but it was not for me. It was for my mom this whole time. Oh We've been doing a lot of work in our scrapbook and craft room, which is Disney themed, and so I thought she really needed to have this for the gallery wall since we're kind of rearranging pictures and all that stuff, and... She had to have this, so I'll get mine one day, but oh this one for now God. is for my mom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you okay, mom? No, you guys are just, you just spoil me. <laughs> so. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> She said, they're here. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, you weren't taping me. I was. No, no, no. Must, must edit. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Love that. Okay, guys, we are at Mima and Papa's house. We are going to be opening up gifts over here. And then, of course, our stockings. And look at how pretty their tree turned out. All because they listened and they let me put their tree back together correctly. <laughs> Is that right, everybody? That's right, Laura. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. You took everything off. Yeah. Rearranged and put it all back on. Yeah, okay. thank goodness. And Hot your house Kaylin. is still standing, huh? Absolutely. Yep, exactly. <laughs> anyway, we're about to have breakfast, but I just wanted to share with you brunch. their tree, or brunch, I should say, yeah, because it's after one at this point. Mm -hmm. um, so we're about to have brunch <laughs> and also open up presents and our stockings. Um, but yeah, so pretty. It's so funny. It looks like your angel lights up, but she's just sitting on a light bulb. <laughs> She has a habit of doing that. We are going to be opening our stockings, and it's so funny because these stockings are very, very large. Mima always threatens to get us new stockings, but here we are, 2018, still have the same stockings, and uh, they're still filled to the top, so yeah. clearly they're still not an issue. We can keep using these year after year. There's got to come a point. No, Mima, no. Okay, guys, so I just opened my first present in my stocking, and it's the Too Faced Christmas Dreams Palette. <laughs> I'm like, I love this. It's a full palette in my stocking. <laughs> uh, first thing, too. Oh, my goodness. Stockies in the stocking. Yeah. Crazy. Anyway, I just thought that was hilarious. Literally, the first thing is a full-size makeup palette. <laughs>
Thank you.